tell me about that. Do I look suspicious? Yes, I heard I you were suspicious. Everybody thinks I'm quite normal, I think. No really? Idea. Yeah. Why would just, they call you suspicious? It's maybe because in my, I play in a band called Suspicious. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Ah, <laughs> you have an accent. Where are you from? I'm from Belgium, actually. Did you hear I was from Belgium? And your partner? She's from, she's from Portugal. She's going to be here in a minute. So how on earth would a punk rocker from Belgium and a punk rocker from Portugal, could, what power could have brought them together? Well, since we both played in punk rock bands, we uh, played together with our bands. That's how we met and that's how we hooked up. We became friends. We, it, I think we did two concerts together in Holland and we became friends and she asked me to come over to Berlin where she lives. And that's what I did. What were your influences? What sort of bands, what kind of music were you listening to when you first started to get into uh, I always listen to all kinds of music. Like I was, I always was in the punk rock scene. I listen to No Wave. I listen to even country stuff, some classical stuff. Some I listen. I like. I think you have to be open-minded because otherwise it gets boring. Well, you're in Rome. Uh, we spoke to them. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so you're traveling. How long has your uh, uh, tour been in the United States? How long have you been here? Uh, three weeks. Three weeks, and how many jobs have you done? Twelve. Twelve, Twelve jobs yeah, yeah. in three weeks. No, no, I'm sorry. Mostly in the, uh, uh, staying in the northeastern United States? Yeah, we just like stayed around. We played uh, two gigs in New Haven, in Stanford, uh, Providence, which was our best so far, and now New Jersey, and the rest was all in New York. Uh -huh. What do you think of the live music scene in uh, the New York, New Jersey, Connecticut area? Well, New Jersey, I have to find out today. And uh, New York, well, New York, I think people in New York are quite spoiled when it comes to music. They're like, more like sanding. And then if you go outside of New York, Connecticut, Providence, people are more into dancing and having fun. And, can you yeah. grab your partner so we can get you both on camera? Shall I grab her? Grab her, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, grab, oh. Can we take you grab her? Do you mind? Susie! That was the same thing. Can you move forward? Yes, we are good to be. It's that's not Susie. Wait, you're not Susie. Can you come back and see that again? No, I'm serious. Come back downstairs okay. and say I grabbed you. Make it, make it. Right, please. Come right, some ready? Yes. Okay, ready. Enter. I grabbed her. Ah. <laughs> so, so suspicious. Um, again, welcome to the United States. We've been talking to your partner here about some of her influences and what brought you guys together. Could you talk a little bit about your musical influences? Well, it's like I listen to a lot of different things. Since um, I like from Edith Piaf to Sex Pistols, I hear all kinds of music. Mm -hmm. And uh, but especially, it's like the '77 punk movement was the thing that pushed me to, to start. Could you, talk, uh, could you tell us a little bit about the scene in Portugal, the live music scene in Portugal? Well, it's like, it's small, because it's a small country, so it's like everyone knows each other, we know each other really well, but it's, um, how could I say, it's, it's small. It's like there's not many places to play, there's not many bands touring, like around, outside the country, because they, they all think, it's like Portugal has this uh, little, pessimist idea. They always think it's impossible or it's very difficult. It's like you just have to go and do it. So you you uh, traveled to Berlin, uh, you guys met uh, in Holland, correct? Yes. And uh, then traveled, you decided to uh, to work together. And would you consider Berlin really the birthplace of Suspicious? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. On my birthday. On your birthday, <laughs> yeah. Because I invite her to come to my birthday party. And um, and then I just told her, hey, it's like, how about, because we both come from punk bands, so we just said, let's just do something uh, different from what just the two of us. And because we were like friends, it was like we met and it was like we knew, we, we've known each other for years. And mm -hmm. I think that was like the main thing to be in a band together. So, so those first jobs took a lot of preparation. I mean, you guys do use some uh, digital tracks behind you. Um, yeah, but still it's quite easy. Yeah, it's like because it's, it's really like well. we started in we started this idea in January and then in March we were already working on the songs. In June I was already in Belgium 
like touring. So it went all like pretty fast for us and, and quite easy. Right. That name, what did you name? And where did the name Suspicious come from? <laughs> That's a mix of Suspiria and Carolicious. Because I when I, I always I always sent emails to her and I signed Carolicious. Like just There's like yeah, Suspiria Suspiria and and Carolicious, Carolicious and so that's, that's just like a great yeah. story. Suspicious. Um, just for the record, um your names. Introduce yourself. Ah, my name is Carolyn. Okay, let's start right in here. Carolyn, and my name is Carolyn. <laughs> and start from go. My name is Carolyn. <laughs> my name is Suspiria. <laughs> and we are, let's try it again and then we're going to say, and we are Suspicious ah, Girls. Ah, okay. We'll start with you. My name is Carolyn and... My name is Carolyn. No, I, I was talking. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Go. My name is Carolyn. My name is Suspiria. And, and we, we are Suspicious. Outstanding. <laughs> it looks suspicious to me. It's great. Right. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Right here, right here, behind me. 